Lord Kryren. <laughs> All right, he takes a bite at you as you back up. Lord Dyron. And misses. Lord Byron. Nice one. Dude, Good Byron. <sighs> Lord Brumin. Uh, okay, the brood guards come forward. This one uh, comes at Clark with a yes. bite and a uh, claw and then another bite. Or, sorry, yeah, yeah, that's correct. Bite, claw, bite. Uh, 17. Does that yep. hit you? Yep. All right, nine piercing from the bite, then eight slashing from the claws, and then seven more slashing. Seven and eight. And... Yeah, nine, eight, okay. seven. That's the total. Three. Okay. So that's 24. Nine, yep. uh, 24 piercing slash slashing damage. Okay, uh, can I and Hellish mm-hmm. Rebuke in melee? Yes. Yeah. I, I I think so. Why wouldn't you be able to? Does... I don't know, because it's casting a spell, but it's a reaction, right? No, yeah. it's a reaction, though. Um, yeah. I'm gonna Hellish Rebuke his ass in. Okay. Saving nice. throw. Um... Fail. Good! So. He takes 26 fire damage, but does not go down. Um, this big boy over here, still rounding the bend. 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, runs Hold towards on. Swift Bear. It, it will go. Why is it? But cannot make any attacks. Smoking really bad. The back Initiative. Oh yeah, turn on the front small one. I need both. Just use both the front ones. Fuck that. that it's just to get shit on it all the time. We're rolling initiative? Yep. Give me two seconds. You haven't already. Okay. At the top of the round is Slick, no surprise. Mm-hmm. This is cantrip round for you. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna cast Ray of Frost on uh, Lord Byron's enemy. <laughs> on Lord Byron. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm Lord, I'm Lord Byron. <laughs> cool. You looked like you needed a dose of water. <sighs> 13. Okay. That is a hit. For six cold. This guy's having a bad day. He's not dead yet, but he's close. Uh, this guy's dead. This guy's dead. Lord Byron's turn. Uh, I'm going to start off by... Second winding. That is D10 plus your fighter level. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ten plus. Could be pretty good. Six. Six. Yay. Seven. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Gain. Sweet. Gain 14 HP back. And since that is a. Turn. All right, that's my bonus action. Mm-hmm. So I have two actions left. Mm-hmm. Attack him twice. Okay. Uh, first attack is a miss. Second one is just enough to put him down. Sweet. And I think I'm going to use my potion as well. So what I roll for that? Forty-four. Which which are you using? Greater healing. Oh, you're drinking a potion. Okay. Yeah, drinking it's, a potion. Yeah, is it a greater? Yeah. It's forty-four plus four. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. Fourteen more HP returns to you. Sweet. It's gotta put you like at max, right? Uh, just below it, two blo- two from two away from max. Okay. <clears throat> nice. Well, that was a well spent potion then. Indeed. Uh, Clark, Indeed your turn. Hung. Uh, I'm gonna grab the tentacle rod and uh. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, precise. Tickle his taint. Three times. 
Oh, I'm going man. For, I'm going for the three-peat here. Okay. Do it. Uh, fuck me. Okay, first one misses, second one hits, third one hits. For a total of five bludgeoning damage. Damn. We've yet to have a three-peat. I know. It's a hard one. Um... But his speed is going to be halved, has disadvantage. Um, that's only if all three of them hit, right? The the constitution save thing? Uh, yes, I believe so. Okay, cool. And then, uh... Are you going to move or stay? Uh, no, I'm going to stay right here, but I'm just going to... I'm going to say it now, because I know he's going to attack me this round. I'm going to Entropic Ward when he tries okay. to hit me. Great. Swift Bear, your turn. Swift Bear. I can see you. Can't hear you if you're trying to talk. He's muted. Are you muted? Oh, that's why. Uh, I go for the four attacks. Snake boy in front of me. Do it. Eat my asshole. Uh, those are that's one hit. Rip. <laughs> Seven slashing damage. He is still up. It's like, Byron, please. And he looks angry at you as he takes another couple of claw attacks and a bite attack at you. Bite attack comes in, misses. Claw attack hits you for six slashing. And the uh, the other claw attacks misses. And the brood guard attacking Clark... Bites at him and misses. And he's gone again. So. I don't remember exactly. I think Entropic Word maybe gives him like an AC bonus or something. Uh, Impose disadvantage on the attack roll. Um, If the attack misses you, your attack roll against the creature's advantage. Okay. It makes three attacks at you, Clark. Which one do you want it to roll disadvantage at? Uh, I guess the first one. Okay. The first one misses, so you will have advantage on him on the next round. Um, claws come in at 22 to hit, hitting you for mm-hmm. 7. And then Claws come in at 19, hitting you for 8. Puts me at 8 health. Yeah, you're getting ravaged by this guy. Okay. Uh, the Malison moves over here. Let's see. And takes two more shots at you, Slick. Sure. First one hits. Do you want to use your ability? Uh, no. Okay. First one's a natural twenty, and it deals you uh, fifteen piercing damage. And the second attack is a natural twenty as well, and it deals uh, deals ten piercing damage. Wow. So 25 piercing total. Cool beans? Yep, I got it. All right, initiative round. Damn, Slick. You fast as fuck. Fast as fuck, boy. Okay, Slick goes first. Of course I do. Uh, so I yeah, you have like twenty. It would be, be like twenty nine, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh my god! It's not like that, so it's ridiculous. Okay. So I'm pretty fucking play a pissed. So I'm going to cast Shadow Blade. Um, yeah. I actually 
need a concentration save. Oh yeah, that's right. You're right. No way, I don't cast Shadow Blade. Yeah, that's right, because I have concentration on. Uh, yeah, I need two fire. saves because you got nailed twice. It's, it's done. Yeah. Yep. Byron, you don't have an action this turn. Yeah, Byron's reeling as you lose concentration uh, yeah. spell. Um, but yeah, you can still do something. Uh, then I guess if I lose concentration, then I am casting a Shadow Blade, in fact. Okay. And I'm going to cast it at level 3 instead of level 2. Okay. Do it. And I'm going to... Uh, hold on. Here. And then I'm gonna throw my shadow blade at this fucking bitch. Okay. Change the macro. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Twenty-four oh. damage. Okay. Is that uh, what kind of damage is that? You know, psychic. Psychic. Whack. She's not down though. Clark, your turn. You are getting ravaged by this brood guard in front of you. Snaky boy. You are in uh, melee reach. You will be casting at disadvantage. Yeah, but I have advantage on it. <laughs> so, Correct, so it washes so up. So it's like... Oh, man. Is that or do I try a tentacle him again, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, uh... If you don't bring him down with the tentacle thing, he's pretty much going to slow roast your ass. Not Nothing slow about it. Well, tonight, you know, for the campfire or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I am going to Eldritch Blast Reno. Okay. So the first one is a wash. Yep. And then the second one is at disadvantage. Mm-hmm. There's that. Oof. <clears throat> uh, roll it again, because you might have better damage. Might be a better roll, better damage. Why? The, fir the first one was just normal. Oh, yeah. All right, well... You have another attack, so roll it anyway. Yep. So this That's one's disadvantage. Hmm? Go ahead. Hey, do you have? You still have your inspiration, right? So you. Sure I you don't. don't I'm the it? only person in the party without inspiration. Mhm. Mm uh. Oof. Nice. All right. I'll take it. Uh, nice. Fifteen more damage. It's pretty savage, but uh, not enough to bring him down. He looks like a twig might be the end of his existence, as you know it. Swift bear. Um, oh, okay. I'm not muted, am I? No. Nope. I spend another key point. Do it. Bring him down. Wow, much better rolls this time. Um, let's see. 7, 14. Jesus, that's so close. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, he is not down. Funny how that works out. Okay. He looks like a twig might be the end of his existence, as you know it. Like that, like his face, he died. Mm -hmm. Um, Lord Byron, your turn. I'm reeling. Your Who's turn it? is passed, Lord Byron. <laughs> Broodguard makes a couple attacks at Clarky Boy. Sixteen to hit is six piercing. For the bite, he's still up, right? Uh, yep. And then the two um, claws come in, both at 10 to hit, missing you. Wow. Okay. I'll um, take it. Broodguard attacking 
Swift Bear makes a bite attack that misses, a claw attack that connects for four slashing, and then another claw attack that misses. Um, this creature uh, is going to move 5, 10, 15, 20. She's off the map. Um, let's see. She's off the map 20 more feet in this direction. And takes another round of volleys at you with her longbow. Uh, first one is a miss. Cool. Um, the second one hits you. Okay. Do you want to use your ability to try and shrug off the damage? Mm, yeah, I already have Shadow Blade cast, so... I will go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, you take 12 piercing damage. Oh, what was the roll at? It rolls a natural 20. It's self canning. Initiative. She's actually pinged you with a couple of net 20s. That's pretty beautiful. More than a couple, like three. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Come on. On Snake Let me right have back. one more, at least. A swift to bear. Mm. No. No. Oh, no. Swift bear? You go first, swift bear. Yeah. I uh, strike up twice. Okay. First one connects, and you bash his skull in. Oh, nice one. Swift bear over here. Over here. Save me. Mm -hmm. And you bash that creature's skull in as well with that roll. They beat my initiative by two. I was totally fucking down this round. Yeah. Clark, your turn. Alright, well. Feeling rejuvenated. Say so thank you, Slifter. And I step away. And then I look into the enveloping darkness over here that doesn't actually exist. And Eldritch blasts mm -hmm. that. Uh, slithering chick. Try. Oh. There, there is no try. There is only do. Natural one. Oh wait, I rolled a disadvantage. Well, anyways, does make a difference. I don't know if you want to take the first roll of each one, or just take the first two rolls. I'll take the first two rolls. Yeah. Um, both hit. That's enough to blow her to smithereens. Cast. Nice one, Alright, party. It seems like you have <sighs> defeated this scouting party? You're not really sure what it is. For now. All we know is it's dead and it's free experience. And free brains. I don't know about free. A couple of you took a lot of damage. There was a potion used. <laughs> Any plane crash you walk away from is a good one. Indeed. Tell that to Fabio. <laughs> I took three fucking natural. He didn't walk away, did he? Nah. Uh, well, um. Hey, gang, I'm gonna go uh, dissect one of these guys and figure out what's going on. Don't mind me over here in this corner. I'm also gonna dissect one of these guys. The oh, captain, okay. be specific. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. I'm gonna walk over here to the farthest one away, the chick. I'm just gonna eat her brains. Save the poison. I need that. Kill and retrieve my javelins. Goddamn. Okay, so you are consuming these brains. Yeah. All of them. Uh, or just the I'm starting out with just the female uh, behind a rock. No one sees me. All right. Let me double check where they fall on the list. Scaly. Because I have to keep track of this here. I talk to Byron and I say, you should try checking out the venom for each of these guys. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if I have enough vials for... Uh, to get well, you can probably get rid of that uh, method uh, semen. <laughs> nah. Well, I have enough, uh, what you call it, bottles for it. 
maybe the most interesting poison then? No, I could get it all. It's just I don't know if I have enough containers to get it separately. I might have to just mix it all together. Mm, probably a bad idea. Well, I'll definitely get the captain in like a, a separate one. And the... I don't know, maybe the lady or the other snake that took two bites. Snake lady's with Clark right now. Yeah, it is. All right, Clark, you eat snake lady brains and you see the gem on your talisman um, glow briefly as if it is digesting the meal. Good, good. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to save on some rations for today and just go ahead and eat some more brains. Okay. But I'm going to, like, you know, kind of be a little dainty about it instead of just, like, gnawing at their heads. Slurping up brains right out of the skull. So what do you... Which one are you going to be eating? Uh, well, this uh... Is, this has got to be dealt with now because yeah, the yeah. party's never seen you do this before. Yeah. So Byron is uh Byron's going ahead and uh, dissecting the dude. And uh just gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna take a look at the brain, so I'm just gonna be like you know, let me let me let me look at those Byron. Uh you gonna eat that or uh, <laughs> just, uh... if you're gonna be filling around with it, you could just milk these things for me. Oh no I I'm just too. No, I'm, uh... You be examining the head. Maybe you could take out the meal. So yeah. you can get some of the sample of those, too. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm gonna take an eye as well. And, uh... Do you think the lady produces milk? And I'm gonna... I'm gonna take my notebook, and I'm just gonna start... I don't like... want to find that out. Snake milk. So I'm, I'm a little gonna... bit grossed out at this point, so I'm gonna leave it to two <laughs> people here. I'm just... All I'm doing... You know all I'm doing is I'm taking my book, and the brain, and the eyeball, and I'm going like this, and I'm turning my back... And I'm just kind of, you know, pretending to fucking draw, draw it or something in my notebook. And just kind of. Okay, but you're trying it. to eat which one's brains? Ah, uh, the captain's, because that's the one Byron was dissecting. Okay. I would definitely pay attention to the captain's because of that psychic damage. But yeah. <laughs> I just you take know, psychic damage. <laughs> I take the two remaining health I have in psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. No, you get the psychic. You get healed for psychic healing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the damage I took. And uh, since that was kind of an ordeal, that's uh, that those are the only two brains I'm gonna consume. Um. Okay, give me a sec, because one of your ores is filled up. Good. And it, it is get in shape. It is a okay. One of they're all black right now, um, but as you eat more of this creature's brains, um, the combination of everything you've eaten to fill this up brings one of the orbs color to brown, and it stays there. Weird. Okay. Okay. I have one brown orb. And three black. Three empty, so. Mm hmm. Okay. I'll probably just leave it at okay. that. I don't want to make too big of a scene of this, you know? Unless we're camping here tonight. But we had, we had travel time left today, right? Yeah. I mean, you could probably hop to the ones I've already milked. It probably shouldn't take me long to just, like, extract the venom. <clears throat> if it's like milking a snake, I would assume I could just kind of, like, carefully squeeze it out and then just move away from it. So you could probably just go up, up to it afterwards, because I'm just going to okay. fiddle with it a little bit afterwards. Okay. Uh, poison is not your wheelhouse. It's a whole separate proficiency. Poisoner's kit. Yeah. And poisoner extraction poison extraction is also in the wheelhouse of Poisoner's Kit, as Xanathar's Guide discusses. 
So it's a check to do this successfully. And if you fail, you risk poisoning yourself. Could I start the process of... Hmm. I wouldn't be able to start the process of doing an antidote because that makes me immune to the poison. I think it says that inside the description. If if you had um, either some blood from someone like or something that had been poisoned, you could use that. Myself. Uh, yeah, you you could use that to build the serum for an antidote specifically for these Yuanti poisons. That would be one way to do it. Uh, or if you had the poison in a vial, like, you know, if you passed your check, you could use that to develop a serum as well, an antidote. But there would be an advantage, a slight advantage, at least in volume, collect the poison, right? Uh, maybe. Well, I already have my own blood. Well, that you'd have to draw your own blood, so you'd be taking more damage. You know, oh, you have yeah. to draw a significant amount of your blood to like run experiments with. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, then I'm definitely gonna try to extract the poison. Mm-hmm. Or I could use the. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do with two of these: the two of the servant ones, the spawns. I'm going to take the hat of rats. I'm going to spawn two of them, bite down the rats, bite down its teeth on top of the rats to try and poison it. And then I'm going to store those away so I can extract their blood and an antidote with it. But with the captain and... Okay. I mean, the rats are not friendly to you. They try to get the hell away the second they're spawned. They're rats. They're la- they're not like large rats, are they? Yeah, like so sizes. give me yeah, so give me like a uh, I don't know, an animal handling check or something. Cuz they're trying to scurry animal. away. From, yeah, they're trying to scurry away from you. All right. It's not going to end well. <laughs> yeah, they start to All fucking right. pull the second that you spawn them. Uh give me a just like a dexterity check to try and catch one. You're going to forcibly make this rat get poisoned. Uh, dexterity. Is that athletics or is it dexterity save? Just just roll a straight dex check because I'm just rolling the d20 for them. Okay. All right, you snatch one up. <laughs> and it's... Ee, 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 ee. And, uh, snap it down like a, sna- like a stapler. Oh, God. Okay. A snapler. You inject it with uh, snake... Venom. I guess I should roll damage. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, it fucking dies horribly. Oh my god. Like I melts still have venom. Out. It immediately dies. <laughs> How much damage um, do you do? I wanna yeah. know. No, I can't tell you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> if, if Byron is gonna be playing around with Venom for this long, I am indeed going to go eat some more brains. <laughs> sure. I'll let you finish this Don't first. Touch though. the captain. Okay, so I need to be careful with that. This one's eaten, and the captain was technically eaten. Uh, which one are you looking at now? Uh, this the squiggly guy, whatever this guy is, looks kind of this nasty boy. Yeah, that nasty boy. He looks like fun. He's like a nasty ball of snakes. Yeah, that, that sounds great. So there's actually like a lot of snake brains. <clears throat> Small snake brains. Mm, it's flavor text. Again, I'm going to try to do this uh, kind of concealingly. Maybe up, <clears throat> up against a rock uh, with my notebook. Couldn't you just, like, collect the brains and then just kind of, like, go behind a rock with, like, a bag full of them? Maybe. Maybe. I need a jar. I need a jar I can store brains in for, you know, until the evening. Eat a whole jar of brains. Okay. 
Hey Clark, what's that? Jar of brains. What is that? Is that? Your orb dig orb number two digests this energy. Um, cool. Do you want to try and make a check to extract this poison? Yeah. I'm definitely going to repeat the process with the rat one more time, but I'm going to have to get the check with the poison, because I want the poison from the captain and some of the other guys. So I guess three checks. Uh, what wait, type of check is it? Dexterity? What? I'm sorry, what? You're trying to withdraw it from all three of them? From these three. But not this guy? Oh, yeah, that's the captain. Yeah, that guy. So, I guess four. I'm going to start with the captain, then. Uh... Dexterity, or... Like, well, actually, what check is it? Because that's important. I'm trying to figure that out. Give me a second. It says investigation perception for Poisoner's Kit... Has taught you how to handle the substances carefully, giving you an edge when you inspect poison objects or try to extract clues from events that involve poison. Um, medicine, when you treat the victim of poison, you know how to blah, blah, blah. Handle poison. Your proficiency allows you to handle and apply a poison without risk of exposing yourself to its effects. Okay, so I guess they can just do this automatically. Like they just, if yeah, if they're proficiency in it, they can just handle it with no problem. But since you're not proficient, you're going to have to make a dexterity check. Wouldn't it be investigation? Uh, uh, mm, well, sell me on it. What Maybe. is the description that you read? Because it had specific. Uh, it mentioned specific proficiencies when it, uh... Yeah, it did. In the um, description of it. So, let me hear that one more time if we can. So, investigation, and per investigation perception is knowledge of poison. It's taught you how to handle them carefully. But you don't have that. You don't have that knowledge, so... No, I don't. That That is letting them apply their investigation and perception to the role. Uh, medicine okay. would allow them to apply medicine to, like, gain insight about how to care for a poisoned patient. Nature and survival proficiencies would be applied if working with poisons enabled them to know about lore, about, like, poisonous plants and animals... Um, handle poison, and they can just handle poison. That's what it says. Um, because they're yeah. proficient in poisoner's kit. So there's really... What I'm getting from it is you don't get to add anything to your dex check or whatever it is if you're not proficient in like a poisoner's kit. You just get no modifiers out of it. You know what I mean? And having assistance from it wouldn't be able, wouldn't allow me to get an advantage, would it? assistance from like slick or what probably slick just have uh, her hold the jaws open and point out where she thinks any holes in the teeth or something hmm i think if you spend a lot. I think if you spend like the rest of your day being very methodical, we can bypass the check. You know what I mean? If you're very careful. But if you want to like still want to travel today, then we're going to be risky about it. So how do you want to play this? I'm okay with spending a day doing this. Mm -hmm. This is unfamiliar territory. So you're going to be like being extra precautious with this poison. You know? Yeah. So I think what happens is. He starts be, like, dissecting the, the brain and the face and like looking, you know. 
didn't really I'm care. I'm not going to be trying to dissect the brains. I think uh, this is an, also an effort of, to kind of avoid <laughs> us observing Clark extracting these brains. I think we're going to take the bodies into two piles. And Clark's okay. going to take the brains away into a place that we can't see. Okay. And we're going to be extracting the poison methodically. And no well, one thinks it's weird change. that Clark takes all the brains away. I think it would be weird if we saw him, his face covered in blood. Hmm. But if he has some time to clean it off and like observe the brains, then I think I, he wouldn't exactly care. In fact, he'd ask him to observe any parts of the brain that he thinks I he uh, he could use an experiment in a, his alchemy. Mm -hmm. And mysteriously, I Clark just I'm, doesn't have anything. I'm I'm grabbing I'm grabbing like eyes. You know, mm. you know, like while I'm in there in the skull, anyways, you know, grab a couple other things. See, you know, mm -hmm. I'm honestly not okay with staying I... here because this was a scouting group. More XP if they if more come. Do you There's do realize worse. how low HP I am right now? Right? Yeah, you have a healing potion. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the party squats down and peels away at these pseudo snaky men. Snake boy. Um Give me one D four and that is the number of vials that you can draw from these creatures successfully after a whole Days worth of working with them. Okay. Because mm -hmm. you're Give bound to botch a couple of these. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Maybe you'll do it perfect, but. Okay. Yeah. Just gotta do a D4. Of okay. course. Yeah. So you really don't get the hang of it until the last one comes around by this one you're like okay now i know where the venom sack is and uh you don't puncture it or anything like that and you manage to draw it out perfect and you get a vial of this uh you can add to your character sheet you want the uh venom which might be useful later in your workings oh definitely Clark, was uh, was there any more snacky time over the course of the day? Yeah, I mean, if I'm going to have all day to dick around with this, I'm just going to go for all three of them. Or all three that remain. Um... Yeah, the only ones you haven't eaten are these two boys. Those are the only ones yeah. that don't have marked down for you. Okay. So you're going to yeah. eat those two? Yep. Okay. I thought I didn't eat uh, this boy, because this is a captain, right? Yep. This guy up here. Yeah, so, because I had eaten his first. Or I ate, sorry, I ate hers first, and then I did his. And then the pile of snakes guy. I thought I only did three, but either way, as long as it, if it's all six. Uh, let me think. Um, yeah, y mm -hmm. I yeah. Think I remember three. Yeah, you're right. There is only three down here. So, mm -hmm. I think I think you moved. You moved. Uh, oops. You moved this guy. You moved that guy down there. Instead of the captain. I think that's what it was. So that's... We need to maximize brain power, so... Yep. Gotta build a think tank. 
store all these brains. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. You feast on brains and your talisman slurps it up, but you do not gain another orb. Alright. Uh, and you guys camp out. Ooh -wee. Bringing us to the... 16th of moon harvest today um you notice that at some point there must have been a constellation shift because lucaris is in the sky which is the god of luck um but you probably didn't notice because of that horrible storm for so long okay and today is a light day and you may travel whenever you'd like oh. that's what I'm intending to do yeah okay uh, you said a light day yeah yep okay. so so we gain a fatigue what or no we break even right so no you don't gain a fatigue point it's a wash yeah, it's you're a traveling wash. yeah, yeah. I'm okay. gonna spend some die. That's okay. Sure. I'll spend two. Yes. I'm also going to spend some hit die because I'm at two health. As soon as my game is now frozen. Alright. Get that HP back. And are you heading back to town? Or what? Uh, yeah, I think so. I need food and water from the party today. Yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to take that out, but uh, the laptop's still frozen. Huh? So I'd love to take that out, but my laptop is still frozen. And then it was frozen. Okay, so we're going back to town? Yep, yeah, I think so. Right, pretty sure you can get there today. Oh, maybe not. No. Nope. You can get pretty far, but not quite to town today. So, um, let's just flip to the next day. It's going to be the 17th moon harvest. It's another light day. You guys are going to owe me two days of food and water yep. as you pull into town. You make it to Port Sand Score and safely party. Yay. Yay! We spent two days in the uh, the square. The square we got attacked on, right? Mm-hmm. So let's mark that real right quick. Mm-hmm. And no, we haven't uh, got to exit out, right? Yeah. What's the Plan around town. Any destinations for any of you? Uh, Alchemist for me. A lot of the people handle that their stuff first. Okay. How about for the rest of you? Uh, I have no plans at the moment. Yeah, I probably just head to the tavern. Any pearls that need purchasing? Do we want to purchase pearls? Uh, yeah. I'd like to restock on 
pickled octopus tentacles and such. Uh, Sheen is charging, yeah, 10 if you don't buy anything from the shop, so it'd be 110 for each brawl. Okay, so I hand 110 over to Slick. I'm like, thanks for identifying my clothes. <laughs> it, sure. So, uh, she'll go to, she'll go to, um, Mr. Ron Perlman or whatever. And, uh, <laughs> Eugene Hoffman. <laughs> and, uh, I can't stop laughing now. <laughs> Bastards. Oh my god. <laughs> when Charles just okay, starts rolling to... around laughing. <laughs> that was me earlier. I was like having a gut punch from that fucking bullshit. <laughs> I threw my clothes in the Jesus pool. <laughs> <laughs> we should really just try to sell Eugene some of the jizz. But he would see mm. it's not magical anymore, so. I buy I buy, <laughs> I buy Would you like to buy this magical jizz? <laughs> I mean, spell components aren't inherently magical. That's true. Right. As I was saying, I go to buy a pearl from Ron Perlman. Eugene is willing to sell you a pearl for 110 gold. Alright, I spend the gold that Swift Bear gave me. Okay, someone mark off the 110. I, I took it out of mine already. Okay. Cool. Hmm. You can add Actually, a pearl on your character sheet. While we're at the magic shop, I'm going mm -hmm. to... I'm going to ask Eugene... If he'd be interested in selling and, and buying the vial of market juice. 